Hey, this is Bobby Hunt Three, author of The Blue Light Diet, www.bluelightdiet.com. And in this short video, I want to talk about sleep masks. Why are they so hard? Why is it so hard to find a good one? Why can't, you'd think they'd test these masks, but I don't think they do. So I've gone through tons of sleep masks. I don't have all of them today, so I'm just gonna go through a few of them and I'm gonna give you the best one I've come across, and it's the best one by far. So this one right here is a Mercola sleep mask. It's got these little puffy things that stick out. When you, it presses on your eye, when I woke up in the morning, it had been pressing on my eye. I couldn't see out of my eye. I called Mercola and said, guys, is that supposed to happen with your sleep mask? What do I do? They never replied back to me. Do not get a Mercola sleep mask, they suck. Next is this thing, it's called a mind fold. Now the mind fold, when you put it on, it actually blocks out all the light, it's great. But the problem is, if you ever turn over at night, if this side, this stuff, this right here, ever touches you, it's going to cut your face up. It's gonna cut your face up like a knife. This is hard plastic right here. I, I have no clue why they put hard plastic on the outside here, and this strap is like, uh, it's, it gives you a rope burn. The, the strap, this is ridiculous. Don't get this unless you like pain. What's the next one here? The next one is this from Swanwick. It's their sleep mask, and actually, it's very cool because this is like a satin-like material, but it lets light in like crazy. It lets light in like crazy, and it's, it's not big enough for my head. Do not get a swan wick if you want some light getting in to your sleep mask, and you don't want light getting in. So if you're like, uh, if, you know, for some reason there's some incidental light coming through a window that you can't block, or, um, or whatever you like, completely blackout situations, use a sleep mask, but do not use any of these that I'm showing you at the moment. This one, this is called a sleep master. Tim Ferriss, the four hour work week guy, that guy recommended it. Again, it's that nice material, but it sucks. It lets light in. I, I don't understand it. It's like these people haven't tested any of these things. So, as you can see, I was frustrated with sleep mask until I found this one. I originally found it on one of those crowd sharing sites. And what is this magic sleep mask that blows all of these other sleep masks away? It's called a Manta sleep mask. The Manta, you can get it at bluelightdetox.com forward slash Manta, M-A-N-T-A. And this, by far, is the best sleep mask I have ever used. It blocks out 99.9% .9 of the light, sometimes 100%. And if, if a little bit gets in, then you just have to readjust and you will be good. The other good thing about this sleep mask is you can sleep on your side. I don't know if you can see me do that. But you can sleep on your side just fine with this Manta sleep mask on. Now here's why it's so good. It's got these outer, um, kind of the blocks on the sides right here, but it's made up of these little pods and your eye fits right in the middle there. So it can actually move around in there. You can open it and close it actually in inside here and it doesn't, uh, it, it, it does it freely, okay? You're not, you're not um, stopped from doing that. Now these little pods, they also come out, so you can readjust them. You can readjust them to fit your, the size of your face. They also sell, they say most people don't need them, but they sell larger sized pods that you can get. Um, but this thing is just the best sleep mask. There's really nothing else I've tried that even comes close to it. Put it on, I sleep on my side, 
half the time, and this never, it never falls off. It never comes out of place. You always wake up with it on full blackout mode, usually the vast majority of the time. If there's some downers to it, this outside material is a little rough. I don't know why Manta didn't make it satiny. The inside, though, that's against your face, this is uh, fleecy. This is like a, a, a fleece kind of material, so it's very soft. It doesn't, that doesn't bother you so much. Also, it's, it's a heavier material, so it might be a little bit hot to some. Um, it's summertime here, it's 80 degrees. I still wear this at night and, and wear it you know, full time. Usually one or two nights I might have taken it out because it was a little hot maybe. Um, but they even sell, Manta sells these uh, cooling pads. So they're, they're these pads that you buy, but you put them in the freezer and they've got like a cooling gel in it and then they cool your eyes at night. So that's another option. It's also probably a little bit of cold thermogenesis there uh, now that I think of it. But this is the Manta. It's the best sleep mask that I've tried and tested. This is the only one I recommend so far. Bluelightdetox.com forward slash Manta.